Okay, we are starting. Hello, I'm Frédéric Danis, software engineer at Colabora, and I will present you the Bluetooth tests in wire plumber and in pipe wire and wire plumber. Pipe wire is a low latency grave bed processing engine that aims is to uh, handle the audio and video streams. Uh, it is uh, intended to replace both uh, pulse audio and jack audio systems. Wire Pumper is in charge of uh, creating the audio and video notes and the link between uh, the notes accordingly to the uh, policies de uh, defined by the system or the users. Uh, both of them are designed for desktop. Uh, main, main distribution are switching to them or to the embedded. More specifically for Bluetooth, uh, the Bluetooth Classic uh, audio Profiles are divided in two main categories. The mono, the stereo, and mostly unidirectional audio um, streaming called A2DP. And the uh, mono and bi bidirectional uh, profiles, like, uh, which is N3 profile and uh, its set profile, the latter less and less used. It, so for the Bluetooth Classic audio profiles, uh, A2DP stands for Advanced Audio Distribution Profiles. It aims to uh, manage audio streaming between media player and headset or speakers. And in this table, you can uh, see the uh, supported codecs. First of, first, uh, uh, the first one is SBC codec, which is um, low low complexity, fast, and low C, but is implemented on all devices. The A2DP specification allows uh, other codecs, like AEC, which is optional and not implemented on all devices. And the specification allows also other codecs not defined in the specification. Most of them have been implemented to improve the audio quality but are not supported by all devices. For example, the APTX family of uh, codecs are, uh, can be found on uh, Qualcomm devices or need uh, licensing from Qualcomm, or the LDAC codec is found on Sony devices. In PipeWire, we use this ability to add some other codec, like Opus, which is an open format, or LC3+, which is an enhanced version of the codec used in LE Audio, which we'll talk later. And some vendors have the ability to do bidirectional audio uh, on H2DP with the fast stream codec, which is an evolution of the SBC codec, or the APTX lossless codec, which is one of the APTX family. No, just one other thing. Uh, last year, we were able to pass the uh, Bluetooth qualification using both pipe wire and wire problem on the Steam Deck. HFP stands for hands free profile. It is used for communication uh, usage. But uh, unlike the A2DP1, it also defines the uh, commands to interact with the telephony using a set of 80 commands. This can be done with external demons like HSP, HFPD, or Ophono. Ophono adding a complete support for the modem. Or with the native backend, which is only set a limited set of AT commands allowing to complete the connection with Bluetooth devices. And uh, this can be used in, uh, with configuring application. Last year, we had to the native backend the support for modem manager, allowing to have a complete uh, um, telephony usage from inside the Bluetooth, uh, from inside PipeWire. Sorry. So, with Ophono or modem manager, PipeWire adds a complete telephony support to the uh, mobile distribution device, uh, distribu mobile device distribution. 
HF3 support two codecs, the mandatory one, which is CVSD, which is an narrow band uh, audio connection. In this case, uh, uh, in this case, um, uh, yes, for the CVSD, the audio is sent directly to the Bluetooth chipset, which, which will anchor the data through the um, Blue Disco socket. And the second uh, codex is MSBC, which is optional. It's a fixed set, a fixed configuration of SBC. But it needs both support from kernel and the chipset. And it is automatically TIG detected uh, during runtime by Pipewire. Um, uh, but on some hardware devices, uh, the, um, the chipset has a direct audio link connected to, the, an ad, to, the, to an audio card or to the modem. To be able to support it, we had a hardware score of load mode, which uh, um, allows Pipewire to only use the score socket to create and connect to the to connect and configure the remote uh, the link to the remote device, while wire pumper will create a pass through node allowing the user to select the uh, the Bluetooth remote device as an audio output, and then the data are sent to the audio card, which play them to the Bluetooth chipset, which will at the end, encode and send the data over the air. Now we'll do a quick overview of the new uh, low energy audio sub, uh, specifications. The idea is to unify the stereo and mono audio profiles and replace both A2DP and HFP. It has a, it has a better sound quality with the new uh, LC3 codec and it has an isoconus um, uh, radio channel, sorry, to guarantee bandwidth and uh, minimal delay. It is, by default, it is able to support bi bidirectional audio for every uh, usage. It supports multi stream support, replacing two wireless. It also supports hearing aids, and uh, with the new overcast mode, you are able to broadcast audio without interaction between the transmitter and the receivers. This ends up in a lot of new uh, profiles and specifications. Uh, the one in blue are already supported by Bluetooth, BlueZ and Pipewire. But as uh, there is not so many devices on the market to test with, they are still uh, uh, set as experimental in both Bluesy and Pipewire and in some configuration to be set if you want to use them. Regarding the broadcast support, it is already supported, uh, the low level is already supported in the kernel, but there is still some work to do in Bluesy and Pipewire and mostly uh, find the correct UX to be able to share audio or to uh, select the broadcast you want to listen to. Thank you.